What's up everybody? Kono Pro here. Coming out to the cool little video. I'm gonna try to run it through here pretty quick. But what we have is 33 must-have tools for a professional set of nail bags. Alright? 33 professional tools for a professional set of nail bags. Let's we'll start off with our frame and hammer. Frame and hammer, titanium head with the nail set. You see that? I'll demonstrate that towards the end. Okay, we got a chalk line. line. This is for a draw, you know, snapping long lines, long, long areas. Great tool to have. This is a speed square. For finding angles and stuff, you can use it as a straight edge, you can use it as a saw guide. Great tool to have in your nail bags. All professionals do have that. This is a um, this is a tester, a socket tester. For outlets in the wall, it actually has writing on it, and then it indicates what these lights will light up, uh, depending on how the connection is in the plug in the wall, whether it's grounded outlet, open it, open neutral, open hot, whatever. This is a great tester to have, power tester for your um, outlets. You gotta have this. Always to have that in your bags is killer. We got it. This is a torpedo level. With a magnet on it, so that way you can do uh, hands-free stuff if you're dealing with something with metal that's magnetic. You can set this on there and level it without you know your hands holding it. Anything to give you a little extra help with something, uh, you know, I always recommend that tool. Like this is, has a magnet, get it. It's better than if you spend an extra buck or two than getting the one without the magnet. You know what I mean? So this is a um, this is an extended uh, another shaft for my drill. For my impact drill, and this is a quick release, goes right in. Okay, and I actually have different different heads in here too. So basically, I can attach that to my drill, then I can you know flathead screw. I got an um, Allen drive. I have a star tip in there. So a bunch of different things you can do with that little kit. And you got your this shaft too. My drill will have a small one. I like the long one on there, so just to have an option of both. So that way when uh, you need to get into something deep or behind something a little tricky, this shaft is really good. And this slip on it is actually designed so if you put a screw on there and then you slip this over the screw, it'll hold the screw from falling off. So this is a great little tool to have in your bags. Okay, and this is a nail set, okay? So Okay, so if, you, if you're using a finished nail gun and you're shooting like 16 penny or 18 penny nails and your nail shoots down to the wood or to the molding, it doesn't quite go all the way into underneath the wood, you take this and put it on the head of the nail and you tap it down just enough to where you can put some wood putty. So the nail set, gotta have that. Then we have our uh, felt tip marker. marker. Now this is for um, Sharpie, basically this is for doing steel stud framing or uh, marking on plastic paneling, if you're doing FRP installation, anything that a uh, pencil or this crayon won't really write on, this is what you want to use a Sharpie. This is a flip stick pencil, okay. Okay, this is what I was referring to as the crayon for um, doing layout. So if you're doing wood framing, a lot of times the framers will use this um, red crayon with their flip stick. So they can have their pencil there for doing their marks and they got their crayon here for their framing layout. Okay, killer to have that. Okay, then I have just a little Allen set here. So that Allen set, kill the Allen set to keep in your tool bags. Always good to have. Never know where you're gonna need it. This is a little cat's paw. In case. Okay, so it's so basically a pry bar. You can put nail puller. You can pull nails with it. Get underneath the nail head. This is to pry, you know, as a little pry bar or 
to pry stuff up or if you're if you're hanging a door i like having these with me i put underneath one end of the door i can push up and it'll raise the door or whatever and i can lock my hinges in killer tool to have love that all right let's see what else we got here some line hits. Now I've had these for like 12 years. They're still rocking, still sharp. You got, we can cut wire there. Um, you can use that to twist wire, um, wire nuts. It's cool. You can even use it as a pair of pliers, basically, with cutters on it. Okay, this is an electric electrician's tool. What's cool about this is it actually can strip different gauges of wire. So. If you're stripping wire, you come across some wires, you need to strip. These are different, has different gauges, little grooves in there. You set the wire in, shut it, it won't cut the wire. It'll just score it, and then you can remove, strip the, the wire, the insulation around the wire. And now these little holes in here are for um, cutting screws. The screws that like, they go on metal on metal screws. Basically the screws that um, are inside of plugs, electrical outlets will have these little metal screws, um, the metal screws they use for installing cabinet hardware. Those are all um, screws that are screwing into a threaded, something threaded, okay? So metal on metal. So if you have a metal screw and you want to cut it down in size, like let's say you're installing cabinet hardware and you only have the long screws and you need to cut them down to the shorter screws, then you can take this, you thread it in, you open this up, you thread it in, you can cut that, okay? It has different gauges for different size screws. Not wood screws, remember, metal screws, okay? That go into like nuts, bolts, or hardware. Um, this is a crimper here for crimping, um, little electrical connections and things like that. This is a great tool to have. It has a little tip on it, you can sort of do needle nose work. Awesome tool to have. This, really important tool, okay? Especially for framers, carpenters, it's called a Schwengel or an angle finder. All right, there's a wing nut here. Undo that wing nut, pull it out. That's actually your end. Then you can tighten this up a little bit. Tighten that up a little bit. And that way you can find your angle. So let's say here's, let's say here's the wall. And then I have a rafter, say a piece of wood going up on an angle and I'm gonna put another one and I want to find that angle, then I can just take this and go like that until I find the angle, and then I can tighten that down there. Then I can take that and transfer it onto my lumber, onto my rafter, on my wood, I can put that on there, and then I can draw my line, so that way when I cut my wood, I know it has the right angle that I need. All right? Oh yeah. When it comes to construction, it's all about the right angles and everything, gotta get that right. All right? All right, this side, almost complete. Right here, this is a big cat's paw, okay, I like this. Okay, I like to keep these in here. We're doing, pulling out nails. If you have a big, you know, let's say you're shooting in with your nail gun, and then you realize, oh, I gotta pull that nail out. It's moving in a little sideways, or didn't quite see. You can take this, you can get underneath the head in any way you can, and then you, you can pry it out a little bit. Once you have the head pried out a little bit, you take the hammer, and you get it in, and you can pry your nail out any way you need to, right? Okay, so this is a killer tool, cat's paw, pry bar, nail pull, okay? These bags don't have a pocket for this, okay? Some bags do. So what I do is I like to slide it in between the belt and the pouch. So there's like a little slot in there, and if you slide it in there, it'll slide in perfectly, okay? You see this? This is actually to hold. That's where the hammer goes. All right. So what else we have is this little clip. This little clip. This little clip. I always keep electrical tape. You never know when you're gonna need some electrical tape. So I electrical tape. So I always keep it in my bags. If there's some live wires, you need to make it safe. That electrical tape. This is a hook actually designed for your drill. Your drill will hook on this. So if you are doing a lot of work and you don't want to run back and forth or set your drill down or you're up on a ladder, you keep this on your back right there. You can hook it, you know, right there. And then you set your drill on there and you have your drill attached to your, your nail bags, which is really convenient and great. Okay? Let's move on. We got our, 
This is our wood planter, okay? Okay, this is a little mini wood planter. It's really cool for doing if you need to plant like a 16th or maybe an 8th inch. This is your guy, okay? If you got a door, you want to take off a little bit off the edge of the door to get it shut right or something like that, this is your this is what you use. So a little wood planter. You can unscrew that a little bit and it'll release the blade. And you just release it out as far as you want to cut off as much wood as you want. I don't think really recommend doing about a 16th with this one because it's a little planer. If you want to cut off more, then you get the bigger planer or a, a power planer. Okay, but always keep that blade um, set back so that way when you run your finger here, you can't slice your finger. Because if that was set up, it would cut you and cut a hole in your back. All right, so I like to keep that. You never know when you'll need that. This is a cool little tool to have. This is a utility box knife right here. Right here. I like to have these, this knife in particular because it has a storage compartment for extra blades. It always sucks when you're like up on the roof frame and, and you're doing something with your blade, you're, you're, you know, you're putting, um, you know, house wrap or something, sheeting, sheeting the thing off with paper, the structure, and then all of a sudden your, your blade goes dull and you need a new blade. Instead of running down and going all the way to the truck, which your foreman's not gonna like, nobody's gonna like you wasting that time, it's better just to have your extra blades, you know, right inside your, your kit. So, like I say, whenever you buy stuff for your bags, think of it as an investment, number one, and something that you want it to be as light as possible, and you also want it to be able to do multiple things for you, okay? But in a good way, all right? Because there's tools that say they do multiple things and they just fall apart in your hands. Get good quality stuff, and you're good. This is a rasp drywall planer, basically. Basically, pocket planer, um, uh, uh, otherwise known as a rasp, but I call it a cheese grater because it looks like a cheese grater. So if you have some drywall and you cut the drywall, it's going to leave a rough edge. This is how you're going to smooth that drywall edge out with this pocket planer. Got to have that in the bags, no matter what. Okay. Then what we got here is a um, crescent wrench. We like our little crescent wrenches here. Okay. I always like to keep a couple different styles of wrenches, at least two, in my bag. But no matter what, always have a crescent wrench. Okay. Then we have some tin snips here. Or oh, excuse me, tin snips. These are little snippers. Um, you can't really use them to cut tin, but they're for like light gauge nails, 16 gauge, 20 gauge finish nails. If you shoot in the nail and it shoots back out or something and you need to snip it, um, you can cut with this. These are great little cutters and you can get really close and flush up to the nail and cut it so you can do finish work with these. This is basically the same thing but bigger. Okay. Now these will basically cut any thick 16 penny nails so if you're doing demo and there's a bunch of nails you need to cut this is your this is your um, this is your tool so here see so this nail see so this is a 16 penny nail okay let's see let's see how good this cuts so look typically you have to grab your pull down to snap it this is such a good leverage it's like a little mini bowl cutter i can basically do this in one hand see that bam Just cutting those nails like nothing so you want to have tools that are good tools in your bags. You don't want to have cheap crap, right? So then we got those snippers, flathead screwdriver. Never know what you're going to need is little tiny flathead screwdriver. It seems like lame, like you wouldn't need it, but you're going to probably need it, trust me. Little flathead screwdriver. This is a six in one tool. Okay, this six in one tool is awesome. Now six in one meaning that it's got the Phillips head, it's got the flat head, and it's got a, a driver there. So you can drive in, um, you know, any heads that are like three eighths, a quarter inch or whatever, you can drive them in. Lags, you can drive in um, any kind of uh, little nuts or whatever, you can use that side there. And then you can switch it. And then you have the same thing here. You have a smaller Phillips head with a, smaller flat head on that side and then you have boom boom those and then you also have this so basically they call it a six in one but 
This is a great tool to have. This is, but it's a good quality tool. They, like they have other screwdrivers that do this stuff, but they fall apart. You, you pull that out a couple times and it won't stay in there anymore. So this is a good one. This is a keyhole saw. Okay. Okay, this is for cutting drywall if you want to, if you're cutting around a can light or you want to, you know, cut a little electrical outlet out of the box on the wall, um, you can. This is, this is for drywall, okay? For cutting through drywall. See that? You can be careful, these are very sharp, these heads here. Okay, what else do we have here? We have some chisels here. This is a three quarter inch chisel. Wood chisel. Then I have a one inch wood chisel. I like to have a couple different styles of both wood chisels. Okay, and then we also have, um, let me see, what is this? Some... Okay, this is a pair of tin snips right here. See that? That's your release. You pull that, that releases it. You push it down, that locks it right back in. You see that? Okay. So what's cool about these is these are tin snips and these you can cut um, like a steel, you can cut tin, you can cut wire, you can cut wire lap, anything. These are amazing to have. You gotta have these in your bags. You can cut corner bead for any drywall. Um, you always gotta have these in your bags. You don't wanna have you know, your foreman yell out, hey, you got those tin snips? And you say, oh, I don't have any. Because you want to have some in your bags and consider yourself a professional. Okay, um, let me see, what do we have here? These are some channel locks. These are awesome. These have little channels in them, so you put the channel and you can lock into the position you want for the size that you're using it. So basically, it's a ranch, but they call them channel locks. All right, we got that. Last but not least, measuring tape. Okay, what I like about this measuring tape is it has a magnetic tip on it. See that magnetic tip? So you basically see I want to measure from here to here. I can just go like this. Bam! And I can measure 51 inches. Hands free, I'm not even touching it. See that? So if you're doing steel step framing, you can run that to one side of your, uh, your stud wall, and then you can pull your layout. It's killer to have a magnet on there. I love this. Um, don't buy a cheap one. If you're gonna buy a nice measuring tape with a magnet, make sure it's a good quality brand. All right, everybody. Now let me just show you how these, okay, you stick the hammer there like that. And what dip, what makes these different from the other nail bag video that I did is the other nail bag video I did was um, nail bags that fit on your hips, okay? And those are cool for doing light, light work and stuff around the house and things like that. But if you're a professional and you're gonna be working for like 12 hours, eight hours minimum, with all this weight on your back, you wanna have more support. So that's why I like these professional bags with this harness, okay? It has uh, extra support around the belt here, and then it has the harness, which is padded for the shoulders. So then you put them on like this, right? Then you, got, you lock it down like this. You got your belt here. You see how it has all this extra padding in here? All that extra padding really helps when it's on your hips and you're, you know, it's not going to hurt your side right there. Because, you know, after you've been doing this for a long time, it'll start, it'll legit start hurting your back, no joke. Okay, so we got that. Um, let me see. That's how they look. See that? You can basically roll up on any job. You can do whatever you want, you know. You can roll up, you can do whatever without them pulling your pants down. Okay, so here's the, here's the, um, here's my hammer. And then see this nail set? Let's demonstrate that real quick. You set the nail just like that, lock it into the magnet. You can take that nail, boom! You can nail it in like that, pry it back out like that. All right, everybody. Um, you know, I just wanted to take a moment just to tell everybody that I appreciate you all. I thank you all so much. I uh, enjoy making these videos for you. And I hope you like them. And um, I did make another, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did make another video. It was 15 nail bags for a handyman. There's that on the Kono Pro channel. And then now we got these for professionals, okay? If you're a professional and you already know what's in your bags, I am mad at you, then handle your business. But if you're someone who is just trying to get your thing going and trying to really 
put on that professional vibe and no one's ever showed you how, or no one wants to take the time to show you, then here you go. This is how we do it, Come with Pro. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you for subscribing. Give us some comments and likes. And uh, we hope to see you on the next video. Go to Pro out, everybody. Thank you.